Hidden fields are a feature within software forms that allow you to take data you already have access to and pass it along into your database via a form. This is helpful because your user will never have to fill out this specific information themselves. So within software, we have several different options for utilizing hidden fields to pass along data and information. In this video, we're gonna talk about the logged in user value as well as the current record value using a job board as the use case. So let's quickly dive in and see what this is all about. So let's say like you're building a job board and we can head over to the jobs page, which shows a simple list block with various jobs that are available, which in turn is of course connected to a list details block that goes into more information about that job. Additionally, we've added a separate block that is a form block where the user can then apply for that specific job. Now, this is all running off of Airtable. Let's take a quick look at our database. So as you can see here in my Airtable base, I have a table for submitted applications with corresponding fields, including the applicant's name, their resume file, email, cover letter, and more. Now, each form submission will be stored under this table as shown here within the form settings. Pretty straightforward, right? However, since we don't have a field where the user can select which position he or she is applying for, we can't associate the submissions with their related jobs. So it'd be pretty strange to ask the applicant to select which job they're applying for when they're on that specific job page, right? So instead of adding such a field, we can actually just go one step further and use hidden fields. And the first step for that would be linking each form submission to its related job entry or positions table as found here. So the first step is linking the two tables through what's called a linked record within Airtable. As you start to centralize your data in Airtable, you'll often find that two pieces of information are often related, even dependent on one another. LinkedIn records allow you to capture and take advantage of these relationships in your workflow. You can learn a lot more about linked records in some of the documentation that Airtable offers, which I'll link in the notes below this video. So in our case, we're gonna be linking the submitted applications table to the positions table, where we have a list of all the jobs and their descriptions. So as you can see here, all I've done is add a field that is a linked record field I've named it positions, and I've linked it to the positions table within Airtable. So let me quickly show you how this is done. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these two fields. Need to refresh the page. Okay, great. So what we'll do is add a linked record, link to another record, and the record that we want to link to is within the positions table. So we're gonna click positions, and then we're gonna click create field. Now you have the option to add a lookup field. Lookup fields show the data from the linked records. So this can be really helpful if you want to visually display the name of the specific job. So we're gonna link the name field to the lookup record. So we're gonna add that additional field. So now we have the linked record, which is linking us to the positions table and the lookup field, which is going to specifically pull the name of the specific job. Okay, so let's pop back over to Softer and take a look at what this looks like. So we're over in the features table. We've already connected our Airtable base. Now we're headed down to the item fields. So we've connected a name, an email, the LinkedIn, as well as the resume as shown here, name, LinkedIn, resume, email. So the last step is going to be adding what's called a hidden field. So add hidden field. Next, we're gonna map it to the positions field as shown here. Great. Then we select value. Now there's several different options to choose from. We've gone over custom value in a previous video. We also are going to have another video on URL parameters. What do each of these mean? So essentially logged in user is a way to pass along the logged in user's name, email, or record ID. So you may know who filled out the form without them adding their information. We're gonna quickly show you how you can utilize this within the same case study in just a moment. Secondly, we have current record. So current record is actually what we're going to choose as it's going to link the current record value to its appropriate position. So as you can see, if we click into current record, we have lots of different options that are available to us that are linked to the positions table. 
So you can see we have name, position status, required experience, location. This is all linking to the positions table in Airtable. So what we wanna do is we wanna link the position name. Perfect. So that the job name that's linked to this form is essentially going to pass through to Airtable and it's gonna show up here in our positions field. So let's go ahead and publish and then test this out. I'm gonna just see what this looks like as a user. View open roles, head of innovation. Great, now let's say like I'm interested in applying for this. So I'm gonna add my name and I'll slide a file in there to act as my resume. Submit inquiry. Of course, you'll wanna change the text to say something like apply and add a post success message, but this is just to show you how this is gonna work. So let's see if it went through correctly. Yep, so we have my name, my LinkedIn, my resume, my email. We can forget about record ID, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And then we can see here, the head of innovation data was sent through directly to Airtable using the positions linked record field, all without the user having to write or select that they were applying to the head of innovation role. And then as you can see here, if you click into the link record, you can see all the information about that specific role here. So next, let's actually show what it looks like if you're going to use the logged in user value. Now, let's say for this use case, this is an internal facing job board at a company where employees can log in and apply to other positions within the company. So the logged in user attribute can be super helpful when wanting to pass along information about the logged in user without them having to fill it in. So for this case, let's actually change the visibility of our job specs page and say that it's only gonna be available to logged in users. And same for the form. Let's change the visibility to logged in users. Great, we can see that we've successfully changed the visibility. So now only logged in users can view this page and apply. Next, let's actually remove the full name and email fields from this form. So we can remove name and email. We can keep LinkedIn and resume and I don't know, maybe we can add a long text that just says, why do you want to apply for this job? Now remember, we need our table here to reflect, of course, this new form. So I'm actually just going to add a blank table and we'll call it internal submitted applications. Save, and we're gonna use a very similar format to before. So instead of their name, we're actually going to add a linked record field and we're gonna link it to the employees table that we've created within Airtable. So create the field and let's link their name as an example. So now this is successfully linking to the employees table, which is essentially our users table as found here. Let's add a, another linked record and also to the employees table and create fields and we can link the email field. That way the user's name and email address are going to be passed through to Airtable when they submit this form. Now, also remember, we need to add another linked record that's going to link to the positions table just as before. Great. Lastly, we need to add the LinkedIn field and a file field and message field. Resume, great. And long text message. All right, now let's simply refresh and properly link this. So we'll click into here we're still going to be linking to the job board by software, but instead of submitted applications, we wanna link it to internal submitted applications. Now, some of the fields might still be linked correctly. So LinkedIn is properly connected. Resume is properly connected. Let's make sure we map the message field to why do you wanna apply for this job? And then let's take a look at our hidden fields. The first one that we wanna keep is mapping positions to the name. So we can still have access to that position information. Next, let's add another hidden field that's going to map to employees. I should actually probably rename this to employee name and employee email. Let me quickly refresh and we'll keep on going. Great, so positions is linked, 
Okay, we want to map to employee name. And the value is going to be the logged in user's name. Next, our second hidden field is going to map to employee email. And again, the logged in users, oop, not name, but email. Perfect, so let's publish this. And again, let's view what this looks like as Frank applying to the head of innovation role. Now, Frank is technically logged into this app, so that part is already taken care of. So I wanna apply this job. Let me add my LinkedIn, my fake resume, and my message. Now let's head over to Airtable and check it out. Cool, it's successfully linked. So we see here the LinkedIn has linked, the employee name has been passed through, as well as their email and the position, the resume and the message. Cool. Now, one thing to note is that you don't necessarily need to add linked record fields. This is a separate form that I created where I didn't create linked records. Instead, I just created simple single line text, email, et cetera, et cetera. And as you can see, the information still successfully passed through. Now, one thing to note is that you technically don't have to use link records in order for these hidden fields to be successful. However, it's kind of the gold standard if you want to be able to easily access more information about these records that exist within your database. So as you can see here, I created another form where I didn't actually use linked records. I just used single line text, email, et cetera, et cetera. And the correct information did pass through. We still have the correct position, the email, the logged in employee's name, but as you can see, it can be hard to find the context of who this person is within the company and more information about the position is shown here. So I just wanted to show you guys this to demonstrate the power of using linked records along with your hidden fields. Now that's the start of hidden fields in a nutshell. So it's a great way to utilize forms to pass along information that you already have access to within your database. Specifically, we went through two ways of doing this. Now, I have another video that dives deeper into the custom value option and also URL parameters. I will link the two in this video below so you can have more context into how to utilize those different types of hidden fields.